Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kim. We do all things decorating. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any videos. So today I thought it would be fun to show you guys a bunch of different ways that you could style your console for spring and even summer. I did leave up a bunny or two in some of the looks just because I think they're cute for spring they're not the bunnies that i was using aren't necessarily easter bunnies they're just like that little white ceramic bunny or like a gray bunny so nothing like really easter themed i don't know let me know if you guys leave up bunnies all spring long or do you take them all down after easter so let's get started here's the console now this is how i had it most of easter we're going to start by removing that bowl and making an arrangement and we'll keep going from there we'll keep doing a bunch of different looks Okay, so we'll be starting off with this new vase that I got from Home Goods. It's so pretty. I'm just loving all those blues and I wanted to carry that into late spring and summer. So I just started by putting these white stems from Walmart. I will link those below. I will try to link the vase. I don't know if they have it online, but if not, I did find some on Amazon that were very similar, really pretty and around the same price. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding in some of this eucalyptus that I got at Hobby Lobby and I'm just kind of spreading it apart and I'm just going to stick the entire bunch in at once. We'll be using white hydrangeas for this arrangement. I did get some from Walmart and then also some from Amazon. Both of them were really, really nice. I think these ones, this is the one from Walmart. I think these were $3 a stem and they were really nice. I was very impressed. And in a second, you'll see the ones from Amazon and you really can't tell the difference. They were both really, really nice. So I will link the ones from Amazon below if you guys are interested. ended up using five of the white hydrangeas, one bunch of the eucalyptus that was from Hobby Lobby, and four of the white stems from Walmart. And here's how it turned out. I really like it. I think the vase and the florals are perfect to carry you all through the rest of spring and summer. So now I'm going to show you guys a couple different looks with that same arrangement. Now we'll be adding some of these faux tulips to the white pitcher. And here I was just showing you guys how easy it is to bend these to different heights. And I love that about these stems and they do look very realistic. I did also get these on Amazon. Also, I am so sorry about my nails. <laughs> They really do look horrible. I just took off my acrylics and I have to go get my nails done again. So, so sorry about that. These are just a couple of the faux tulips that I got at Home Goods. They just have a little bit of a larger bud. So I mixed a couple in there just to make it look more realistic. And then I decided to add a little blue bow on this white ceramic bunny and add him for this look. But I'm going to show you guys multiple looks without bunnies as well. And then I just added some moss to this white ceramic bowl that I have. You can use any bowl in this look that you guys have at home. And then next I'm gonna go in with this new book that I got off Amazon. It's called More Beautiful. I wanted to show you guys a couple of the pages. There's so many gorgeous different looks to get inspired by in there for spring and summer.
I added back in that same arrangement on top of the book and here's this final look. I love using all my white pieces for spring and summer. I think it just gives a nice light and airy look. So now I've just added a couple books on either side and some candlesticks and I'm going to add in that same bunny. In a second I'll show you guys how it looks with removing the bunny and putting a candle. And then here I put that gold bowl that I originally had in the middle over on the side. And here's how that one looked. And this is the same look, I just took away the bunny and added this really pretty candle. Now we're going to do a completely different look. I'm going to take away one of the lamps and add in this really large vase and some of these cherry blossom stems from Walmart. I used a total of four for this look and I will try and link these ones below for you guys. I believe they're still in stock. Okay, so I was struggling with this look. I do much better with really symmetrical looks and I was struggling with not having the two lamps. Do you guys do that? Do you typically decorate with a really symmetrical look or do you like to just off balance things? And this is how the final look turned out. And the only thing that I'd say I would change is the cream vase. I wish I had a darker gray vase to offset the other side with all the dark moody colors. I think that would look a lot better. Along with the darker vase, I feel like you could definitely add in a candle right there in the middle on this left side to offset the right side and have a grouping of three as well. Okay, so now we're getting started on another look. I got these corbels from Home Goods. They were $9.99 each, but I'm going to use them as bookends. I just think they look so nice. They look like they came from an antique store and they were only $10 each. Next, I added in some of these really long eucalyptus stems. These were actually from the 99 cent store and they are really, really nice. And then again, some more of these hydrangeas, the same ones that we used earlier. You can either get these at Walmart or the ones from Amazon. Both were nice. I want to make this arrangement 
really lush and over the top. I want it to be spilling out on all the sides and just very, very full. And these are also those same stems we used in the first arrangement, the ones from Walmart. And again, I think I'm gonna use four in this arrangement. Okay, and that was it for that arrangement. It was super easy to make. And then now I'm just showing you guys this look with the books on one end and that same white bowl stacked on a book. And then switching it out over to some vases on the book. And then here are the vases with that little bunny. And then again, a look without any bunnies, just the candle. And I really liked this look. I think I may leave this one up for spring. If you guys would like to see more decorating and how I decorate the rest of the dining room for spring, then please click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. Okay, in this look, I'm just going to be adding in some of these pink, blue, and it's sort of a pale yellow um, stems. They were from the 99 cent store. They're actually really, really nice. And I wanted to show you guys how you can add in just a little bit of color for spring without going over the top, especially if you're like me and you mostly like neutrals, but you still wanted to bring in a little bit of those spring tones. So this is the look with the gold bowl and then here I switched it out for some candles and tied some little bows on them and added in a bunny just to show you guys how you can bring in the spring without going over the top. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys were able to get a lot of inspiration, just new ideas on how to style your consoles for spring and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!